Oh, hey folks, and welcome to once again another episode of the Movie Mad Channel. Uh, for you, those of you who don't know, I collect Blu rays and what's that called? Sniff there. Blu rays and DVDs. And uh, I was going to show you what I picked up over the last week or so. Uh, I haven't made many videos, and the reason I haven't made many is that. Essentially, I've got a lot of work on, a lot of stuff happening. But it didn't stop me going out one day, uh, I think it was last week, and purchasing a decent amount of stuff, shall we say. So I shall show you what I've picked up, and you can uh, decide for yourself whether it was worth it or not. I'm doubting it was worth it, to be honest with you. It's a bit anyway. But there you go. So, first of all, I picked up... The Lethal Cole Left in Collection 1 to 4 on DVD. And the reason I picked these up is a lot, along with a lot of the other ones I was just about to show you, is that they were four for a pound in the, in, in the charity shop. And I thought I could maybe trade them into CEX and make a little bit of money. But they were so busy at the charity shop and there were so many people there, I didn't want to sit, stand looking it up. And so I thought, you know, Take the chance, twenty five p, and see what it trades in for. Because I say three of the three of the movies were uh, completely sealed. Only one, only only one has been open. Uh, and I don't know why they do that, but look, Lethal Weapon one, two, three, and then a red one for four. But there you go. But turns out it's worthless. <laughs> and what I mean, what I mean by that, it's worthless to see X. I actually heard of this app called Ziffit. And if you download that, it gives you a price for sending it off. And it gave me 50p, and I paid 25 for it. But you know what? That's just not worth the effort. So, I don't know how to do this, but there you go. Uh, the next one I picked up, and I again picked it up because I thought I was going to do okay with trading, was 12 strong for 25p. But it turns out you only get 10p for it. So, I have this on Blu-ray, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to get rid of the case and make this into one of my doubles. Because 12 Strong is an okay film and I'm just going to keep the DVD. Chris Hemsworth, just in case you don't know about the war. US Special Forces team. In Afghanistan, I believe, if I remember rightly. Now, this one I picked up because I don't own it on Blu-ray or DVD, and that's House of Cards Season 5. I've got a bit of Kevin Spacey's theme going on. Uh, I'll, I'll show you why in a second. But I haven't got five. I've got one, two, I think I've got three. I don't have four, and I don't have five or six. So I don't. I would have preferred to pick this up on Blu-ray, but for now, for 25p, took Season 5 on DVD. Is that one of a digital code with it? it? Might be. And you know what? It's a nice thin one, so it's pretty pretty decent. So it's nice to keep. Do enjoy House of Cards. Again, picked this one up because I thought it might might be worth a bit more than the twenty five I was paying for it, and that's X Men Two, sorry X Men X Men Two Electra and Daredevil Director's Cut. But once again. I don't think it's my knowledge. I think CEX have dropped a lot of their prices lately. I think you get like 10p for it or something like that. And you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do with that either. Yeah. This one, again, was in the four for a pound. And it's Heroes Season 3 on DVD. I picked that up. I don't own Season 3 Heroes. I own 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. Don't own Season 3 at all so I thought great take season three on DVD for now and we can always upgrade later for 25p that's a decent one so I just need to get season four of that there's a common theme here this one I actually picked up because again I thought it looks a decent set but it's movies I don't have and uh, if it did trade in then I might consider it but since it doesn't isn't worth anything for trading I took it and I'll keep it. And it's gentlemen, it's Matt, the best of Marilyn Monroe with Gentlemen Prefer Bonds, How to Marry a Millionaire, Seven Year Itch, and Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe in the Final Days. And I haven't seen any of these films, so these, these are pretty classic ones, aren't they? 
So, yeah, I think I'll keep those ones. I'll probably again, I'll probably take it out of the box, and I'll probably, I'll probably put them in my big metal cases. Pick this one up. Now I seen Movie Worm talking about the fall, and he's reviewed the fall. Nice picture, by the way, dressed up in the hood and everything. Great effort, fantastic. Uh, so if you haven't seen these review the fall, go and have a look at Movie Worm uh, on his channel for that. And I sort of, the fall sort of reminded me of the original Prime Suspect, where a strong female character takes the lead of an investigation, and in some ways, Julian Anderson in the fall reminded me of Helen, Helen Mirren and, and that performance. And this was in the charity shop. And I've watched this, I actually watched this very recently on Catch Up TV. And I think I've watched this one. So this is a good one. And it'd be good to watch it without the adverts and interruption and DVDs. I wonder if there's any additional bits on here that aren't actually, aren't actually, shall we say, on the TV. Might be. Also, it's got a great cast. Helen Mirren. I think there's a young Ralph Fiennes in here. Zoe Wanamaker. So, very happy with that one. And for that, that's 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 something you're be twenty five p all day for, even though it's on even though it's on DVD. Don't think this is. I, I, I highly doubt this is released on Blu-ray. This one, Dorothy. No, absolutely nothing about it, and I picked it up to trade, and it's not worth anything. No much more I can say about that. <laughs> uh, did pick up these because I wanted them, and I don't own them, and that is the first two seasons in Nip and Tuck. I think there's five seasons in Nip and Tuck in there, and I just learned an interesting fact. I have watched the first couple of seasons of this, but. I think sort of lost track of it, but I've got what season one and two now, so I'll be trying to look for the other ones. Again, it's on DVD, but that's okay. DVDs are alright, uh, say, especially when you're watching TV series, uh, especially with upscaling on the Xbox One S, it looks pretty pretty decent. And if I ever come across them on Blu-ray, then I may upgrade them. But for twenty five p each, what's that? A full season, like ten hours entertainment. That's what physical media value is. There you go. So there you go. And I learned interestingly that the part of the obnoxious surgeon, I can't even I can't even remember his name. But the obnoxious surgeon was actually written for Rob Lowe. Interesting, isn't it? So season one and two of that, again, twenty five P each. Happy with that. Again, in my infinite wisdom, 25p each, I thought, yeah, series 1 to 5 of the Big Bang Theory and season 1 to 6, I should have known better, would be worth trading in, but they're not. So I can get, my, I can get 10p back for them each, but am I really going to sit through CEX and let them take out all these discs for 10p? No. So, don't know what I'll do with them, I might just put them outside, we've got a wee shelf in our flats and people put stuff on there that they don't want. And sometimes they disappear. So if somebody wants season one to survive in a big bang three or one to six, they're probably gonna get a treat. And I have a few episodes of this, a few series of this, but I don't have season one, and that is Bones. It's a very really, really long running one with Angel. That's not his real name, is it? What's Angel's real name? David Borowance. You need to say that again because I can't hear you. David Borowance. David Borowitz, and who is the girl in Bones? She was in something else before that as well, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I, think, I don't know. But it's obviously a CSI type of thing, investigating the Bones. But again, for twenty two, for 25p, how can you argue? So I think I spent a grand total of £3 there. Got a few things I want. I've got a lot of stuff that I don't want. I'm going to have to get rid of. <laughs> oh well, sometimes it goes that way. Something, if I had time to look it up, I would have, but I just, you know, for that, that, you just take it, if something goes, something, something is, it's not like you've lost anything. 
uh, on, on there. And I say some of them on Zip it, you can get double your money or slightly more than double your money for, for them. But I just, it's just not worth it. So I also took a trip into CX and I bought a few things. But before I'd done that, we, I was having a conversation, conversation, conversation with Jason TV and Movies, how I wanted to get American Beauty. I just hadn't found it for the price I wanted. I have to mention it was in CEX for £4. And that's a good price, but it wasn't in mine. And it was like £2 postage or something like that. I says, yeah, but I really do begrudge paying £2 for postage. And he, go, he goes, it's in my local one. I'll pick it up for you if you want. And I said, okay. And I can send it with it the case to reduce the postage if you want. I said, okay. Fine, but actually, it was very nice of him. He just posted it and sent it to me. Uh... I paid for the, 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 the £4 itself, but he paid for the postage for me. So thank you very much for that, Jason. I appreciate that. And uh, he picked up American Beauty with Kevin Spacey. What a movie that is. Always wanted to pick that up on Blu-ray. It's really worth, really worth watching this one. Really, really good show. This one an Oscar, isn't it? It says winner. Let's take off the, let's take off the uh, label and then we'll be able to see you better. Winner of five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, so not just the one. And this this wasn't on Amazon to buy. There was none in stock on any of them. So I thought it was going out of print, but a couple of came up for £12. Now, the new new ones, but, you know, when you can get it for four, that's a that's a better deal. And I picked, uh, so I'm very happy. Thank you for that, Jason. In that, he actually got sent a package from Pete, but he actually had one of the movies, and he asked me if I wanted it because I didn't have it, and that was 3D of the Three Musketeers, and I didn't have it, so I took it. I haven't actually seen this movie. It's got Arlo Arndo Bloom in it, Mila Jovovich, Kevin's Christmas Wolves, yeah, so. and it's the 3D version, and somebody said, uh, or was it Jason that said, that the 3D on this is absolutely amazing. Fortunately, I don't have a 3D TV, but... If I ever do get one, I have got the disc now. So thank you very much for that as well. And with my American View. What else did we get? Oh, so I say I went to CX myself and I did pick up, I thought, I've got a decent amount of vouchers here. Let's just splurge a little. When I say splurge a little, I spent £25. And those vouchers probably cost me about 10 But the first movie I picked up and I don't have it because I can't find where I've put it. Is Gemini Man from Will Smith. That, that dropped down to £6. And I've wanted to see that for a while. Really have wanted to see that for a while. People have said it wasn't the greatest movie. But I'll be honest with you. I really enjoyed it. You know, sorry, but I did. And I was actually thinking, that's a well worth well worth movie. And, and I didn't know. My, my uh, dad was saying it's a remake. But I don't actually know if it is. I'm going to have to look that up. But... Great story. I enjoyed watching it. I was watching it throughout. I was quite tired, but I stayed. I watched through the entire film and Clive Owen playing a bad guy. Oh, spoiler! <laughs> on there, but that's not really a spoiler. Uh, on there and uh, Will Smith playing the good guy, and I thought that's a really decent movie. I enjoyed it a lot, and it dropped down to six pounds in CEX. So I bought, it. and if I had it, had it and could find out where I put it, I would. Show you, but I don't know where that where are that. So I bought that one. This I wanted to get this on release day, but again, I don't like to buy it. So I don't like to buy things at twelve pound. I'm like, well, if I buy this at twelve pound now, it means I can't buy two at six pound that came at six months ago. So that's the way I do it. I always try and wait for the drop to five or six, something like that. If I can, unless it's an arrow or something like that, and sometimes I pay a bit more. But I picked up the Adams family. 1991 the creepy original movie and I say this one just came out I think or did it I don't know I can't remember it was Adam Family Values that just came out but I took this one for £5 with young Christina Ricci Christopher Lloyd I thought that'll be a good one to watch at Halloween as well won't it the Adam's Family and that's just coming up so Pick that one up. I've heard okay things about this one as well, and that is Ad Astra with Brad Pitt. Oh, there's a big slash in the crease at the back. I didn't see that. 
hope that's not through the desk. No, hope it's not through the artwork. Oh, and it is. Somebody slashed it right through the artwork. Oh well. Oh, it doesn't matter now if I did more than two days. I'll just replace the case uh, on that. But there you go. And I do want to watch that movie. So I picked that one up too. So again, I know this is a bit late. I'm a little late to the party. But sometimes I am because I wait till they drop down to these kind of prices before I buy them. What else did we get? Beefing up my stone, stone collection a little bit. I've been beefing it up quite a bit lately. I got to Cliffhanger, Lock Up. And I picked up Cliffhanger on Blu ray. I seen Daylight on Netflix the other day. I don't think I've got that on Blu ray yet either. But I picked up Cliffhanger. That's an okay movie. I enjoy that one as well. So does uh, John Flickster, so I'll pick that one up too. And I also picked up a classic from 1956 and that is John Wayne and the Searchers. I haven't actually seen this movie but my dad watches that kind of stuff all the time and he seemed to enjoy it. So I thought, you know, when I'm in, I'm in CX I look for things that might not be there next time I come and I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have been there uh, the next time. Ad Astra, they had three copies. Gemini Man had three copies, Anna's family had three copies, but I was waiting for them to drop, so the Ad Astra and the Gemini Man were £8 the week before, and they dropped to 6 so I thought that's my price point to purchase them. So I did that, I think I'm Adam Charlie was 6 and then it dropped to 5 I thought, great. So £4 for the searchers on Blu-ray, so that was a great deal. And I picked this one up, which I just, you know, I just like the concept to splice. And it's Clive and Esther are best scientists in their field, slicing together genes of several animals that manage to bring in resistance a new kind of creature. So it's going to be a horror. But I just like to th I just like to throw that maybe, maybe in the mimic species type of mode, and I hope that's okay. And it's a and it's a nice double. And if I didn't like it, it's a nice double case to switch with someone something else with a DVD and a Blu-ray copy. So those are my pickups and what I've watched in the last couple of weeks. So I appreciate uh, you watching. I see. I think I've picked up another couple of subscribers, but YouTube's a bit funny like that. It, it says I picked up subscribers, then my numbers go down. Maybe I've lost some too. But if you do like the videos and you want to see me next time, feel free to subscribe. If you do like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you have comments on any of the movies or any of my terrible DVD purchases. They're not terrible. Three pound. It's not. It's, you know. It's not the end of the end of the world. But now I've just got stuff that I need to get rid of somehow. So we will see you next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I appreciate it. And I'm pretty sure I said that twice. But never mind. Thanks, guys. <laughs>